everybody, welcome to the channel Plasma 1945, taking off on the Contention server. SU27 loaded up with a full loadout of four Fox 1s, two long range Fox 2s, those are the 2017s, and some R73 4 point defense. Uh, flying alone here today, and I'm just gonna go and do a bit of a fighter sweep and clean up the airspace north of Beirut. Now, the enemy aircraft are pushing in with a air-to-ground package, and you'll see just how much of a difference a GCI makes on this server, because the AWACS coverage is limited and you can't necessarily see everything. So, as you can see, I've got an A-10, a helicopter, and an F-14 Tomcat all operating to the left of me, kind of on my nose, attacking our base. Now, as I'm pulling in, I can see intermittent contacts on my daily. That's why I keep looking over on the right screen, but I also keep losing them. So I'm working my elevation up, down, trying to spot them. And there is that contact in front of me and he just disappears. So I know there's something here, but my radar is just not seeing it. And because these guys are low and our AWACS coverage is limited, I can't really see all these targets. Now, if I had a GCI here, so a person who's in the JTAC slot, they would probably be able to spot these a little bit easier. So I visually spot the A-10. I've got a lock on him and he just drops off for a moment, but now I know where he is. So I'm diving down and using my vertical scan. That's the flanker roll to lock him up. Now I can visually see it's an A-10, which means that if he defends my first missile, he needs to have a second one because an A-10 is a very tough aircraft. So there's a first launch. And I've got a Fox 2 for him as well. Splash and hit. A-10 is down. And there goes my Fox 2. Impacts the water because the A-10 is already going for a drink. But as you saw there, the Tomcat was in the same area. He didn't see me. There's a chopper over on my right side. I don't even see him either, but I've got two hostiles coming in. High and medium speed, so not too fast. Those are the two F-18s on my nose. First thing, target the left one and fire a Fox-1 missile on him. And then I'm looking for the second one. They're on data link, but I can't quite lock them. There's the lock. And I can see that he's offsetting to the right. He notches my radar. And now I'm tracking back to the first target. Now because I dropped lock to push off the first guy, my missile is just flying stupid right now. But I had to fire because I needed one of them to break off. I could not go 2v1 here. If there were competent pilots, that was too much of a risk. Here comes this F-18. I've got him on the nose. He's not shooting. Fox 1 and a Fox 2 as a double tap. Missiles are tracking. Good splash. F-18 is down. And I'm turning away. As you can see on my data link window, there's an F-18 right below me, but he's not showing up on my data link, and I guess it didn't show up on his. It was just below me as I passed by. I pick up a hostile to the south. Oh yeah, and by the way, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'm turning around looking for the hostile that was to the south. There's a lock. Got him in tail aspect. And I'm following him down. Southwards, this is the F-14. He heads over to the east and I'm kind of chasing him through the mountains, trying to catch up to him. I see him on data link, surprisingly, so he's actually showing up on our AWACS, but I just don't see him on the radar or visually. And he's showing up on my left, but remember, data link is about 10 seconds behind. I'm using vertical scan because I should definitely be close enough. I'm within about a mile. Got a lock on him. Fox 2, that's the 27T. Tracking, he's popping flares, but no good. He's out of there. All right, good splash. That's three aircraft down, and now it's uh, time to RTB. Now on the contention server, as you can see, it's a bit more challenging than Growling Sidewinder because 
You've only got short range Fox 1 missiles and Fox 2 missiles. Big disadvantage for the F-16 because all it has are AIM 9s. Data link coverage is pretty bad, so you have to rely on your radar skills. And well, the other thing is if you don't have a GCI, it gets, gets challenging. So meanwhile, I am RTBing because you also earn points on the contention server. So if you want to call in an AWACS, so you need, say, 50 points, which you get for splashing about 10 aircraft. But you only claim the points if you've landed, so... I said, okay, I've still got a couple of missiles, but I'm going to come in for a nice landing here at Wuja Al-Hajar. Very short airbase. Air brakes are out, flaps are out. Coming in for as slow of a landing as I possibly can. There you go. Touchdown. Rolling and deploying the parachute. Now I can see a lot of damage on the airbase here. It is still a friendly airbase that hasn't been captured by the enemies, but it's not a good place to be because um, you are exposed and it's one of the frontline airbases. So, very often, as you might have seen in my previous videos, you can get smacked pretty badly here with a, um, a missile such as, say, an A-10 or something else flying through, which happens right about now. If you look behind me on the TAC view, you'll see that there is an Apache that's cruising in from my 6 o'clock, just as I'm coming in for a stop. So I earned a whole bunch of points here, 22 points for those splashes. And uh, hitting the brakes, and I'm going to request a rearm and refuel. But just as I do... And as my rearm is finishing, that Apache decides to launch some missiles at the base I'm at, taking out a couple of tanks. Still okay, right? Just rearming, refueling. But the Apache spots me and sends a Hellfire on my active aircraft. Here comes the Hellfire. Three, two, one. Boom. All right, it didn't take my pilot out, which means that I can still request a repair, but... Ugh, what an ending to a flight, hey guys? Alright, on that note, as always, Plasma1945 signing off. A little bit of flanker action for you on DCS World Contention Multiplayer Server. Let's see how bad this damage is. Yeah, I'm kind of broken. I'll definitely need a repair.